Scientists listen to the ocean's habitats in order to measure the health of those habitats. It gives us an idea of how the ecological communities are doing. For our study, we were interested in examining the soundscapes of the three most important habitats of Florida Bay. The mangrove islands, seagrass beds, and the hard bottom habitat. The hard bottom habitat of Florida Bay is an important nursery habitat for many ecologically and economically important species. The larvae of these species use the soundscape of hard bottom habitat as a cue to find where they want to settle. The structure of hard bottom habitat is dominated by soft corals and large sponges. Some of these sponges can be as big as a truck tire. Many organisms live within and around these large sponges. And if you cut one of them open, you would find a lot of snapping shrimp. These snapping shrimp are called snapping shrimp because they make a bunch of noise. They make a snap, crackle, and pop that you can hear in the hard bottom and mangrove recordings. We use an instrument called a hydrophone, which is basically an underwater microphone to record the soundscapes of those three habitat types. So once we got all of our recordings, we analyzed the soundscapes and saw quite a few differences among those different habitats. Mangrove islands and hard bottom habitat were very loud compared to seagrass habitat. Here's an example of a healthy hard bottom habitat. Unfortunately, over the past few decades, the hard bottom habitat of Florida Bay has experienced massive sponge die-offs as a result of widespread algae blooms. Our team of researchers wanted to explore how this habitat degradation might alter the soundscapes of those hard bottom habitats. Once again, we used the hydrophone recorders to measure the soundscapes of healthy hard bottom areas that didn't have sponge die-offs versus degraded areas that underwent sponge die-offs. What we found was a drastic difference. Degraded areas were much quieter than healthy areas and exhibited far fewer snapping shrimp snaps than the healthy hard bottom areas did. Fortunately, it's not all bad news. A team of researchers from universities and state and federal agencies have started a restoration program to help the hard bottom of Florida Bay recover from those die-offs. Comparing the soundscapes of a restored area to the soundscapes of degraded and healthy hard bottom, we found that our restoration efforts were effective in aiding in the recovery of the soundscape. And using this data, we can monitor changes in these habitats as well as any restoration efforts in the future. So the next time you're in the water, be sure to keep an ear open and listen to what the ocean has to say.